course, sadly for everyone, including us, the tour is slowly winding up uh, to its to the end. Tomorrow will be their last day. Today they will be a rest day, so we won't be expected to see them. There are no photo opportunities. Yesterday, though, was a very big day for the couple down in Christchurch. They were in the Garden City. It was a, a much more sombre occasion, a time of reflection. Rob Jobson was there, our royal correspondent, of course. He joins us now from Auckland, where he's flown before he flies to Australia to follow, follow the second leg of the tour. Good morning to you, Rob. Tell us about Christchurch. How were they received? Oh, very well. And again, actually, although it was a very sombre occasion, I think that obviously Prince William was very keen to uh, reflect on what happened in 2011 with the earthquake. Actually, the photographs that went around the world were of oh, quite a bit of fun with William and uh, Kate playing cricket, the fact that he <laughs> sort of tried to bowl his maiden over with one cricket ball straight at almost at her face, it seemed. But look, it was quite... So there are the photographs that are all on the, all the papers back home in the UK, and it seems over here too. So I think they were very well received. There were big crowds. Um, in fact, everywhere I've been, and all the cities around New Zealand, there's been very good crowds and good reception. So I think they will be pleased with the way things have gone. And you just said, of course, it's only been three years since Prince William was in Christchurch last, and he did make mention of the fact that he would like to return with his wife uh, to see progress in the future. Realistically, how long do you think he was talking? Five or ten years? Well, the way things work, they have to obviously um, clear out all their trips with the Foreign Office. It's different with realms like New Zealand and Australia. I'd have thought well, at least five, maybe six or seven years before they come back. But I'm, I'm sure that we'll have other uh, members of the royal family, maybe Prince Harry coming down to, to see New Zealand soon. So, yeah, I'm sure there'll be other uh, big visits. But I think in terms of the, the main couple, William and Kate and little baby George, I think this is, this is them for a while anyway. Yeah, and I think if Prince Harry was to come, it might be a different kind of tour as well, especially without the baby waiting in Wellington. Uh, when do you think we will see the baby again? Do you think there might be another opportunity? I don't think so in New Zealand. I think the only time we're going to see little George is when he's getting back on the Royal New Zealand Air Force plane to go to Sydney. Um, the next opportunity that the media will see and all the people will see is going to be, I think, in Sydney. He's going to get off the plane. I think there's going to be an engagement, maybe at the zoo. They've, they've said there's going to be one other big set-piece engagement with Prince George whilst he's in Australia. So I think all the papers will be filled with him. It seems also that all the newspapers, whenever they put a picture of Prince George on the, on the cover, they, their sales have rocketed up. So they're all doing spreads on little George all the time. And that's not necessarily um, good news for William and Kate because actually they're not as the star <laughs> couples as, as George's. So I'm sure we're going to see him again. Um, I mean, it's going to happen, I would have thought, in, in Australia, maybe at the zoo, at Taronga Zoo. Yes, and speaking of Australia, of course, a lot of the large media organisations and yourself uh, are slowly picking up and shifting everything to Australia. How is, is the media, what's the overall feeling from the media about the New Zealand trip? Oh, I think the whole uh, trip to New Zealand was extremely positive. I mean, the way the media here is 450 accredited, about 70 or so travelling from the, from the UK, have been treated extremely well by the New Zealand government, by Tourism uh, New Zealand, and really shown all the beautiful parts of this country. I mean, everywhere I've gone, um, given that I've been broadcasting from London to, to New Zealand for a, a while now, people have recognised me, have said hello, and they've been extremely friendly. I think this has been an incredible uh, trip, a very positive trip, and has certainly showcased New Zealand and the beautiful country it is to the world. Well, that's great to hear from us, Rob. It's been lovely talking to you for uh, throughout the duration of the New Zealand tour. We look forward to touching base with you in Australia with the royal couple there.